What's up guys, Jam here. Today we'll be covering chapter 27 of arc 5. Chapter 26 ended with Subaru losing his right foot and Sirius and Regulus taking their leave. Chapter 27 opens with Subaru waking up to the sound of a voice. Hey bro, you're awake. Cattered young lady over here, everyone else keep working, sorry but keep working, we're working against time here. Really now, you're annoying. People need quiet here, so quietly get back to work. Now that you've woken up, do you understand the situation? Actually, can you speak right now? Subaru recognizes the cat-eared person in front of him. Ferris? Yep, it's everyone's favorite Ferris. You're Nazi Subaru, and we're at a field hospital right now since you were heavily injured. Got it? Ferris's dress was stained with blood, but he was a sight for sore eyes for Subaru. Subaru looks around and realizes that he's on a hospital bed, along with being surrounded by several people with the same injury as him. What exactly is happening? Looks chaotic, doesn't it? Try to remember what happened before you passed out. If you recall that, you'll find the answer. The witch cult. Really, those guys are the worst. My understanding of them was too naive. I never expected them to do something like this. Of course, no one else was expecting this either. Amelia, where is Amelia? Is she here? That bastard greed took Amelia, then I. Wait, where's Beatrice? Please tell me, where's Beatrice? Ferris and Ricardo remain quiet and look to the side. Subaru follows their gaze and gets his answer. Beatrice. Beatrice was fast asleep in a hospital bed near his own. Subaru got up and tried to go to her. As soon as he got off the bed, he felt severe pain in his right foot, causing him to fall down. Subaru looked at the source of the pain and was speechless. Subaru would have lost a foot if it weren't for Beatrice. Subaru's right foot was missing about half of its flesh and was wrapped in several layers of thick bandages. A board had also been fixed to his heel. Subaru remembers everything that happened before he blacked out. Ricardo looks at Subaru and breaks the silence. When I stumbled upon the scene, your foot was only connected by a few tendons. A crying little miss had been desperately healing it until we got you help. After that, Subaru was carried here and treated by Ferris. Although, Ferris's treatment can't guarantee that your foot will be the same as before. Now the bones and nerves are linked and the flesh is regenerating, so don't do anything to upset it. As for getting you to the little miss, I can handle that. Thanks, sorry about this. No worries. Ricardo moved Subaru's bed closer to Beatrice's so he could take a better look at her. She's just sleeping, right? Still, I'm worried. Asleep isn't the right word. Right now she's lost her function as a spirit. A state of suspended animation might be closer. What? According to the cat-eared lady, this happened as a result of mana overuse. I found the plaza you were in completely by accident, bro. Everyone there almost had the same injury, which the little miss was taking care of all on her own. Beatrice had listened to Subaru's request before passing out and equally healed everyone. She squeezed every drop of her mana dry to save all of those people. Beatrice is fine, right? She just needs a little rest. Ferris shakes his head and tells Subaru that he isn't able to help Beatrice. There, there has to be a way, if Beatrice can't be saved. Subaru already lost Rem, he couldn't afford to lose another person so dear to him. If she needs mana to be brought back, can't she take some from another source? If bro is her contractor, then she should be able to get some from him, right? Obviously, Subaru would be the source, but that idiot broke his gate, so she can't use his mana. Right, Boca Fruits. With Boca Fruits, I can restore my own mana, and from there I can give some to Beatrice. How many times have I said this? That's really dangerous for Subaru's body. In fact, it would be like poison. If you did that, we would just end up with two casualties. I can understand Subaru's worry about Beatrice, and although I understand, there's nothing we can do for her right now. We also have other things to worry about. Right, there's Amelia too. How's the situation? No, what else has happened? What's with all the injuries? The witch cult is here like you said, bro. But it just can't be them, right? I only saw two Synarch bishops. The two Synarch bishops and the cultists under them. Are they attacking the city right now? About that. Ferris was interrupted by a loud voice that rang throughout the room. Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo. The city's radio broadcast magic? Hello all you meat creatures. No matter how many times you've heard it, doesn't my beautiful and lovely voice excite you? What a stupid voice this is. Quiet, Subaru. I have news for you. We're all tired and we're going home now. Just kidding. The true tossing and turning of day and night starts now. Setting aside my funny, laugh-inducing joke, let's continue with the news. As I said earlier, the city has been occupied by us. You're all cage birds. No, you're all insects in a cage for insects. And the end. My precious words end here. Meat creatures and insects should work their hardest. Like I said before, we've taken control of the four towers, I think it's best not to try anything weird. A drowned man's dead face is unbearably ugly. What did you think of the broadcast just now? Well, our limbs were taken and were just reduced to a head. That's how Ferris sees this. So just now, that was the witch cult. The first broadcast came in while Subaru was sleeping. In it, the broadcaster introduced herself. 
Although this is disgusting, and Ferris doesn't believe it in the slightest, this is the name that was given. Capella Emirata Lagunica, a name of royalty. And that sums up chapter 27 of arc 5. Tape wasn't going to let Subaru off the hook by dying in the last chapter. He's going to have to deal with the foot being held together at the threads. Also, we found out that Ricardo happened to be in the area where Subaru fought Regulus and Sirius. He could have been useful had he shown up on time, but then again, he did save Subaru and Beatrice by bringing them to Ferris. Speaking of Beatrice, she is now in a comatose state similar to Rem. Subaru can't catch a break, huh? Hopefully she will be able to wake up soon. We were also introduced to the Synarch Bishop of Lust, Capella Lagunica. I wonder if she's a true member of the royal family. Regardless, there are at least three Synarch Bishops in Pristella and they have taken control of all four towers. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a fourth Synarch Bishop holding the fourth tower. Let me know if you guys have any theories, predictions, or thoughts about the chapter or going forward in the comment section down below. I'll be reading all of the comments, then responding to and discussing 3-5 to five comments in the next video. The first comment comes in from Victory. They wrote, I'm really grateful for what you're doing. I love ReZero and being able to listen to this while doing my art project makes it so much more fun. Thank you Victory, I'm glad you enjoy the content. Good luck with your art project. The second comment comes in from IMM3. They wrote, The way Betty starts panicking when Subaru gets his foot blown off is unsettling. I listened to an audiobook while reading it and when that scene came up, I literally looked away from the screen and covered my eyes. I don't know what I thought that would do, but either way, it was a surreal experience. I can't wait for this to be animated. It would easily be an episode cliffhanger and make the scene more gruesome. I also remember being shocked when reading this chapter for the first time. The final comment comes in from SH. They wrote, Well, it just went as badly as I predicted. I don't think missing a foot will actually kill Subaru since Betty will not let that happen. Looks like Satella wasn't enough, now Subaru has another Yandere waifu to deal with. Yeah, I highly doubt that Tape would kill Subaru off like this, he would be letting him get off too easy. And yikes, guess being a Yandere runs in Amelia's family. With that being said, thank you so much for the support as always. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.